Hi folks, uh, now let's try to see and understand how MySQL, which is a database that we will use extensively, how we can use it to, uh, how, I mean, we'll be using MySQL going forward as a default database because it's an open source and free database that we can install and use. So first, before we install and use it, we got to download it. The easiest way to download it is to go to the MySQL website. Just type in MySQL or MySQL.com. It will take you to the home page. Once you go to the home page, you just go to downloads here. Right? So if you click on downloads here, it will take you to this page. It will take you to this page. Right? This is the downloads page. In the downloads page, there are some commercial versions of MySQL which are sold by Oracle. So we don't want an enterprise or a commercial edition. We want a free edition. So there is something called as a community edition. This is the edition that we will get it because it's free of cost, also open source, which is under GPL license. So just go click on this, click on the, click on this community GPL downloads, right? So this will take you to the community edition, which is free of cost to download. So once you once you, once you click on that, what you will get next is this page, right? So here again, you have multiple options here. You can either download the server, the MySQL cluster, or the router shell, whatever you want. We will we will go with the default option, which is uh, the MySQL community server, because this gives you a uh, a server. It will give you it gives you MySQL with all the stuff that we need as a developer. To understand SQL and learn it, right? So just click on this. Once you click on this, this will go to this page. And okay, so we are on downloads. Okay, so once we go to this downloads page, you'll get two options here for MySQL community server. In the MySQL community server, when once you click download MySQL community server, if you just come down, there are two versions for this. So okay, before we go there. It's better to use the MySQL installer for Windows if you are using a Windows laptop or desktop. Just click to the, uh, this This will install both the 32-bit and the 64-bit, whatever your computer is. So this is the easier version for you to play with, right? So just go click on this, go to download page. Click on this, go to download page. It will take you to the download page. Here you have two options to download. You can either download the 16 MB version or the 318 MB version. I recommend you do the three sorry 313 MB version because this gives you all the software in a single package. So if you download the 16 MB version, once once the installer starts, it will keep downloading from the internet. So it's best to first download everything, especially if you have a slow internet connection. You might want to download this, and you you, may, you might want to start the download at night and then continue, right? So I would we recommend that you use this, right? We'll give you we'll give you all the links here. So once you go there, it'll take you here. It'll say begin your download. You want to log in, sign up. If you don't want to log in, just go and click on this, right? Just go and click on this. No thanks. Just start my download, right? This will give you the MySQL download, and we'll give you the we'll give you all of these URL links uh, in the in the description section of this video so that you can directly go here and download it without any worries, right? So once you click on this, it will take some time to download based on your internet connection. It, it might take you anywhere from two minutes to a few hours because we have 313 MB of data to be downloaded. Right? Once you download, what you will get in your download folder is this installer. This is mysql-installer-community 8.0. You, you might get a slightly different version. So what we are using here is a mysql community version installer. So at the time of recording of this video, we are at version 8.0.13. That version might change, but that's okay. You can just continue with this. So now to install to install MySQL, just go and click on this. Double click on it. It will take a couple of seconds for the installer to start running. And uh, okay, it will say, do you want this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Right? It will start. It will start the. It will start the community version of MySQL installer to start with. Okay. Yes. Simple. Okay. This is the installer coming up. Then you accept the terms here. As you see here, you accept the license terms. And then you say there are multiple versions here. What we will go for is the default developer version, which is the easiest thing for us to learn MySQL. 
continue here just ignore this don't worry about this this connector with python is not mandatory so we'll just continue next it will say not been satisfied do you want to continue just press yes no problem these are all the stuff that will get installed you'll have a microsoft sorry you'll get a mysql server you'll get some workbench some visual studio all these are stuff that you'll get with examples and samples everything just click on execute so once you click on execute it will take some time to install right so for example the mysql server is is being installed here each of these each of these need to get installed and that could take a few minutes so just be patient here and i'll pause this video and i'll restart again when uh, when all the all the when all of them are completed when uh, the installation of all of these pieces of software is completed okay now if you notice the status of all of these packages is complete right so we waited for a few minutes for all of them to to be completed now since all of them are completed let's go to the next step here right so i'll just click next again click next so here i can again do a, a cluster setup or a simple setup we'll just go with a standalone server type of setup so let's just go continue with that okay some some basic stuff what is the tcp port all of that stuff we don't have to worry about it right now just continue with whatever is the default here okay so again we will have to set up an admin password for our mysql server uh, sorry for our for our mysql database so we'll just continue with this okay use a strong password continue here so here it asks for a root password a root password is nothing but it's an admin password right so whatever password you give here please don't forget it if you forget it you can't use your uh, you can't use your uh, mysql instance or mysql database so root in most linux or unix systems means the admin or the most powerful user right so give a password of your choice uh, whatever password you want so it says password is weak i've just given a very simple password but it's okay you can give a weak or a strong password it's always suggested that you give a hard or a strong password okay so now let's continue okay everything is there this is the mysql blah 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 just keep just keep pressing next okay just say execute okay it will write all of these it will it, it basically coming up and running some of these or executing some of these steps setting up the configuration files initializing the databases starting the server all of the stuff we don't have to worry it will take care of itself installing this on windows is extremely easy and so is the installation in linux or mac if you have those boxes right so we'll just say finish right so again just click next finish next okay uh okay i don't have to worry about it okay let me just give the admin password that i gave a while back check this okay so this is basically checking if the connection to my mysql server is working or not the password that i entered here the username is root the password is the root password that i set up a while ago i'll just say check and then i'll keep going execute it's just doing some configuration scripts running some scripts etc that's it we should we're almost close to being done okay that's it okay product configuration finish installation is done so as soon as you finish you get your mysql prompt here right this is some workbench we don't have to worry let's just close all of them okay because we have installed now to start to start your mysql you go here right you just say mysql you get something called as mysql 8.0 command line client this is the command line client that we will use this is like a terminal so when i when i click on this right it says what is your password here i need to enter my root password i just enter that's it once i do that i get my mysql command prompt so everything that i do here is going to be a mysql command right we will see when when we learn when we learn lot of sql queries going forward in this chapter we will keep seeing this command prompt right whatever sql command you want to uh, type and execute will be written here and executed here that's it this is a simple check that everything is working 
So all the commands, everything we run will be in the MySQL command line client. Extremely simple, right? Install, installing MySQL, installing MySQL on Windows is is literally trivial. It's also fairly easy in Linux or Mac. It's it's very similar to what we've done here in Windows, right? Okay. So next, since we have seen how to install MySQL in this video, in the next video we'll see how to load our database, the IMDB database that we want to use.